Hey what's going on guys Sandeep here and sometimes the Wi-Fi adapter on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 might disappear and you can't connect to any Wi-Fi network. As you can see that I am not getting any Wi-Fi network here on this Windows 10. Even if you go to settings, network and internet settings and then Wi-Fi option is not available here, it is disappeared. And if you go to the list of all network adapters, then you can see that Wi-Fi adapter is not available here. So in this video, you will find different ways to get back missing Wi-Fi adapter on your Windows 10 or Windows 11. Just stick to the last and follow all these steps and any of these methods should help you to fix the problem. I have created this video on Windows 10, but it will work on Windows 11 as well, since Windows 11 has similar options. Now the first thing you can do is install the Wi-Fi adapter from the device manager. Go to search and search for device manager and open this option. Expand the network adapters option. And if you can find your Wi-Fi adapter listed here then it is easy to fix but if it is missing from the network adapters as well then you have to follow more workarounds. In this case the Wi-Fi adapter is missing from the network adapters as well. Now just click on view option and show hidden devices and if you see your Wi-Fi adapter listed here then you have to select it and right click on it. Let's say this one is the hidden Wi-Fi network adapter then you have to select it and then right click update driver. Click on browse my computer for drivers and then select let me pick from a list of available driver on my computer. At this screen you might see an option to select your driver. But if you see this kind of screen, then scroll down to find network adapters and select it and then click on next. You will get this option. If there are more than one driver, select the latest one, check the date and click on next. Now it will install the Wi-Fi driver. Now click on action tab and then scan for hardware changes. It might install the missing Wi-Fi adapter on your PC. Check if you are able to get the Wi-Fi networks or not. If not, go to the Action tab again and then click on Add Legacy Hardware. Now click on Next and then select this option Install the hardware that I manually select. Click on Next. Now you have to scroll down to find network adapter and select it. Click on Next option and then you have to select the manufacturer. It might be Intel, Etheros or Broadcom. If you know the manufacturer, you have to select it and then from the right hand side, select the network driver. If you know the model of your network driver, then you can select it from here. But if you don't know, then you can search on Google for the network driver details for your laptop or PC, then select it. Once selected, click on next option to install the driver. In most cases, you will be confused that which driver I need to select. Then no worries, even I have selected the wrong driver. You can see that yellow exclamation mark that means it is an incompatible driver. So don't worry, we will manually install the driver later on in this video. Now the next thing you can do is use the network troubleshooter. Go to start and then settings, network and internet option and then click on troubleshoot option. In Windows 11 the interface might be different. Select all network adapters and then click on next. The network troubleshooter might detect and fix the problem for you or give you an option to fix the problem. In the Windows 11 the interface is different but you have to find and run the network troubleshooter. Let it run and detect the problem. If the windows troubleshooter can find and fix the problem then good, otherwise follow the next method. For this method we are going to check for network related services. Go to search and search for services and open this app. Now look for WN auto config and WLAN auto config. Find and make sure this service is running. If the service is not running, right click on it, go to properties and starter type should be automatic and then start the service. Hit apply and OK. 
सेम फॉर दी डब्ल्यू लैन ऑटो कॉन्फ़िग सर्विस एज वेल फाइंड एंड सेलेक्ट दी डब्ल्यू लैन ऑटो कॉन्फ़िग राइट क्लिक ऑन इट गो टू प्रॉपर्टीज सेलेक्ट दी स्टार्टअप टाइप ऑटोमेटिक एंड स्टार्ट दी सर्विस दिस सर्विस शुड बी रनिंग एंड आफ्टर दैट री स्टार्ट योर पी सी एंड चेक फॉर दी वाई फाई एडाप्टर एंड इफ दिस मेथड डजेंट वर्क देन फॉलो दी नेक्स्ट मेथड गो टू सर्च एंड सर्च फॉर सी एम डी देन रन इट एज एडमिन क्लिक ऑन द यस ऑप्शन यू विल गेट ऑन द स्क्रीन नाउ ऑन द सी एम डी यू हैव टू टाइप नेट एस सच स्पेस विन सॉक स्पेस रीसेट देन प्रेस एंटर ऑन योर की बोर्ड इट विल रीसेट द विंडोज सॉकेट कैटेलॉग एंड आफ्टर दैट एग्जिट आउट सी एम डी एंड री स्टार्ट योर पी सी एंड चेक फॉर द वाई फाई एडाप्टर वेदर यू आर एबल टू कनेक्ट टू वाई फाई और नॉट इफ नॉट यू हैव टू ओपन दी सी एम डी एज एडमिन अगेन गो टू सर्च सर्च फॉर सी एम डी एंड ओपन इट एज एडमिन नाउ यू हैव टू टाइप एन अदर कमांड विच इज नेट सी एफ जी देन स्पेस हाईफन डी देन प्रेस एंटर ऑन योर की बोर्ड बेसिकली इट विल रिमूव ऑल द नेटवर्क एडाप्टर फ्राम योर पी सी एंड देन यू हैव टू री स्टार्ट योर कंप्यूटर वंस यू री स्टार्ट द कंप्यूटर इट विल ऑटो इंस्टॉल ऑल द नेटवर्क एडाप्टर्स एंड आफ्टर दैट चेक इफ यू आर एबल टू कनेक्ट टू वाई फाई आर नॉट इफ द वाई फाई एडाप्टर इज स्टिल मिसिंग देन यू कैन ट्राई नेटवर्क रीसेट गो टू मेन्यू देन सेटिंग्स नेटवर्क एंड इंटरनेट क्लिक ऑन नेटवर्क रीसेट ऑप्शन ऑन विंडोज इलेवन यू कैन सिंपली सर्च फॉर नेटवर्क रीसेट एंड देन रीसेट द नेटवर्क क्लिक ऑन द यस ऑप्शन एंड इट विल री स्टार्ट योर पी सी आफ्टर द री स्टार्ट चेक फॉर द वाई फाई एडाप्टर एंड इफ इट इज स्टिल मिसिंग देन यू कैन ट्राई एन अदर मेथड दिस मेथड माई डू ए मैजिक विच आई कॉल पावर फ्लस बेसिकली यू हैव टू ड्रेन ऑल दिस स्टैटिक पावर फ्रॉम योर लैपटॉप और द डेस्कटॉप पी सी फर्स्ट यू हैव टू सट डाउन योर लैपटॉप और डेस्कटॉप इफ यू आर यूजिंग अ लैपटॉप देन सट इट डाउन एंड इफ यू कैन टेक आउट द बैटरी टेक इट आउट एंड इफ यू आर यूजिंग अ टावर पी सी देन यू हैव टू टर्न ऑफ ऑल द पावर फर्स्ट टर्न ऑफ द पी एस यू पावर एंड देन टेक आउट द पावर कॉर्ड नाउ यू हैव टू प्रेस एंड होल्ड द पावर की फॉर थर्टी सेकेंड्स टू रिलीज ऑल द स्टैटिक पावर एंड इफ यू कान टेक आउट द बैटरी ऑफ योर लैपटॉप देन यू हैव टू डिस्चार्ज योर लैपटॉप कम्प्लीटली एंड देन डू द पावर फ्लस एंड आफ्टर दैट यू हैव टू प्लग इन योर पी एस यू पावर एंड टर्न इट ऑन इफ यू आर ऑन ए टावर पी सी नाउ स्टार्ट योर पी सी और लैपटॉप एंड चेक फॉर द वाई फाई एडाप्टर इन मोस्ट केसेस द पावर फ्लस विल फिक्स द प्रॉब्लम एंड यू विल बी एबल टू गेट बैक द मिसिंग वाई फाई एडाप्टर एंड कनेक्ट टू द वाई फाई नेटवर्क by any chance if the power flush is also not working then you have to get a working laptop where you can download the wifi driver so get a any working computer where you can access internet and search on google for the laptop model and then driver just type your laptop or desktop model and then driver go to the official website of your device manufacturer you might have to select the uh, laptop model or the pc model on the manufacturer website you just have to follow the on screen instructions go to the driver and utility option select your operating system and find the wireless lan driver and download it in my case i am using an external wifi card on my desktop pc which is asus pce ax300 so i will search it on google and go to the official website you will find similar options on any manufacturer website driver or utility option or the support option so anyhow you have to find the wifi driver for your laptop or the desktop pc on the manufacturer website select your operating system and then download the wifi driver there might be different version so download the latest one Once downloaded you have to copy this driver on any external media like USB thumb drive or you can say pen drive copy and paste it to the pen drive now plug in the USB drive to the affected computer and locate your driver it is in the USB drive and here in my case 
If it is a compressed file, you have to extract it first. If it is an exe file, you can directly install it. Now you have to locate the setup.exe file. Setup application and double click to install it. Now you have to follow the on screen instructions to install the Wi Fi driver on your computer. Just click on next and next option, accept the license terms, and then install the driver. And after installing the driver, you might have to restart your PC again and then check for the Wi Fi adapter. In most cases, installing the Wi Fi driver will fix the problem and you can easily connect to the Wi Fi networks. There might be another situation that you don't get your Wi Fi adapter even after installing the driver from the manufacturer website. In this case, you have to perform the power flush again. In my case, I had to perform the power flush after installing the Wi Fi driver from the manufacturer website. And this was the only thing that worked on my computer. And you can see that I am getting Wi Fi option in settings and the Wi-Fi is present in the network adapters and also in the device manager. So this is how you can fix if the Wi-Fi adapter is missing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11. And that's all for this video guys, hope this helped. If so hit the like button and in case if this didn't work hit the dislike button. Don't forget to subscribe also press the bell icon to get notified about new videos and I will see you in my next one.